I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine, and I'm here with Robert Chiari. He's a sales manager with Renishaw's Additive Manufacturing Division. Renishaw supplies a variety of manufacturing-related technologies. Recently, the company's been growing its business related to metal additive manufacturing machines. So, Robert, Renishaw has various products related to machine tools. I'm thinking of machine tool probes, machine tool calibration equipment. So, is there a conflict there? Is additive a competitor to CNC yeah. machining? Well, great question, Pete, and uh, thank you for, uh, for having me here today. Uh, I would say that there's definitely not a conflict. Uh, what I will say is that uh, machining uh, technologies and additive manufacturing are complementary. What we see is uh, that cust customers that are utilizing the technology, they're uh, utilizing both processes uh, to get to the end point with the parts. Yeah. So you end up having, uh, you know, your additively produced part, but then there's always uh, or for many parts, a secondary process, and that secondary process, more often than not, is done on a machining uh, type uh, tool. So I, I think you'd agree, manufacturers are becoming more sophisticated in their understanding of what additive's all about, but there are still misconceptions out there. What's an example of a misconception about additive manufacturing that you still encounter? Wow, I think that the biggest misconception that we uh, encounter on a regular basis is that uh, a lot of people today, uh, they're still designing for conventional processes. So they understand design for manufacturability, mm -hmm. but what needs to happen is really a shift to design for additive manufacturing. We feel that uh, Renishaw is, uh, has a responsibility to educate you know, uh, customers on design for additive manufacturing. And uh, one of the things that Renishaw is doing is that we're opening up global solution centers that's going to give customers an opportunity hmm. to uh, essentially prove out their process, test drive, uh, and, and, and be able to, to do all these, uh, you know, testing out, if you will, of the process before they actually make the investment in right. the technology. Right. Renishaw is involved with a lot of machining customers and you're, part of the reason you're in additive is because you're hearing from those companies about additive. Why? Why are machining part producers coming to you asking about additive? Right. Uh, well, A is that they're, they're, uh, they're recognizing that, that, you know, that the additive manufacturing technologies are really a, 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 you know, making waves in, you know, in the industry, right? Uh, but beyond that, I mean, what they're uh, looking to do is they're looking to uh, support their customer base, right? And their customer base is really kind of placing, uh, you know, demands on them, if you will, and saying that, you know, we, we want to be able to give you not only our conventional or our traditional manufacturing work, but if we have parts that need to be additively produced, you know, we want to be able to come to you as well. And so in an effort to not lose that customer base, uh, you know, you're seeing machine, uh, machining, machine shops, uh, you know, bringing in these capabilities as well. We talk about just-in-time manufacturing as well, right? Uh, you have th that capability where you're going to be able to uh, minimize, in some cases, for some applications, your uh, warehousing of parts, mm -hmm. right? You can essentially build parts on demand, mm -hmm. and uh, that will lead to lower cost as well, hmm. and potentially even lower or smaller square footage areas of, of uh, warehousing right. space for companies. Right. So complement to machining, uh, different kinds of parts than we're able to make today, and different ways of thinking about production volumes. Yep. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Pete. Appreciate it.